three. Your left hand, okay, when I'm walking around and looking at a lot of those Seonagis, I'm seeing hands way up here, mm -hmm. and, and I'm seeing a lot of loose geese up here. So when we throw a Seonagi or a Seotoshi, I like to get way underneath that elbow, at least underneath that elbow, because I've got to close this gap between his chest and my shoulder or my back. Mm -hmm. I've got to close that gap. If I'm way down here or if I'm up here, I have a hard time doing that, okay? And I know uh, Chris had, had stopped everybody and talked about you guys grabbing like this, but when you grab like this, you can't close that gap. And one of the reasons that your Seonagis or Seotoshis fail is because you don't close that gap. If you grab, you can't close that gap, you create gap. Okay, and that's why he was saying, you gotta come in and pull that arm in like this. Well, we're gonna do like a Marote Seonagi with their elbow shooting through this time. And it's just gonna be it's called Seotoshi, Seonagi like the entire Toshi. I'm gonna step in, okay, and it's that same pop, just like you were doing before, like this. This arm's gonna go here, this arm's pulling out. I'm gonna turn all the way around and then I'm gonna shoot my right leg out here. And when I put my leg out, I try to go really, really low, okay? I usually fight people that are bigger, taller than me, and man, if I can get, the lower I can get, the easier they just kind of tumble over the top. So, I'm gonna come in like this, pop, arm in here, get him on his toes, turn all the way around, shoot my leg out to the right to stop him from hopping around, and then we'll throw. Okay? So it's gonna be one, two, three. Okay? We're just gonna do our uchikomi to start with. Just so that you get that movement down, and your right leg, when you shoot this leg out, I like to get way, way low. Sometimes I even think I'm almost on top of their foot, that low. Okay, so when you come in, get way low like this without pushing them backwards. You gotta keep him on his toes. With our, with our forward throws, all of our Sionagi throws, one of the reasons that they fail is because we fail to roll our shoulders. And it's the same thing with Siotoshi, okay? We don't want to throw them and end up throwing him and just ending up here. Boom, he's here. In order to do that, I'm going to roll my shoulder, okay? And you got to ask yourself, if the throws don't work, why didn't it work? Well, with our Seonagi throws, a big reason why they don't is because we don't roll our shoulders enough. Once you close that gap that we talked about before, between here and here, rolling the shoulders finishes that throw. Okay? So, step in, right? And when you shoot this leg out, Stay on your toes and roll your shoulders. Okay? All right, let's do a few more of them and then we're going to do them with some movement. And we'll do this in three steps. So that we'll take two and then I'm going to turn in for this Siotoshi. Okay? Okay? So, one, two, spin. Shoot that way. Okay? Let's say hi. So, can you, can you stop on the Sakuri so I can show the kids we are fitting it? Or show everybody? Yeah. Let me. You better look at The stopping is when you Sakuri. Way? One, two. Here's that pop. Keep him coming. 
And notice what I'm getting at is notice he turns in and he's like this. He's not straight on. He's fitting here more at a diagonal. Okay? And, and it's because he's, he's taking a step. So when he's taking a step, I've got to think, just like he's talked about before, throwing him that way, not this way. But once I shoot my leg out, he'll have a lot harder time stepping around there and sliding off. Okay? So if I don't get it quite right, I can still knock him down. Okay? So, one, two, and then shoot that leg. All right? One time real slow. One, two, and now a little pull. He steps into it. Instead of stepping all the way back, Spin around, shoot that leg. Got it? Can we see full speed? He loves you, Wyatt. Okay. Ready? One.